Hello, I'm Martha Hess, a member of the class of 1967 and one of several volunteers in the college archives. For the last several months I've been telling stories about the history of Anderson Hall as the college prepares to renovate this 142 year old building. Today I want to remember two legends of Anderson Hall, Dr. Edwin Hunter and Dr. Elizabeth Jackson. Dr. Hunter graduated from Maryville College in 1914 and returned in 1918 to begin a 49-year career as a professor of English, as chair of the Department of English for 37 years, and as dean of curriculum for almost 25 years. In 1928, Dr. Hunter added a new course to the English curriculum, Middle English Literature. It's still being offered today and is known as English 331, Chaucer in Middle English. When Dr. Hunter retired, Dr. Jackson picked up the Chaucer course and taught it until she retired in 1975. Dr. Jackson was a graduate of Smith College in 1930 and for the few years after graduation, she worked in Massachusetts on Webster's Second International Dictionary as an editor. During the 1934-35 school year, she visited Maryville College to see her sister Shirley, who was a sophomore at the time. While she was here, she applied for a job in the English department. In 1935, she started a 40-year career at Maryville College, where she taught linguistics and history of the language, 17th century lit, literature of the Romantic period, and of course, Chaucer. Both Dr. Hunter and Dr. Jackson believed that students needed to be able to read the Middle English comfortably in order to understand the tales that Chaucer wrote. They divided classes into small reading groups and the reading groups met with the professor regularly throughout the semester. The current medieval scholar at Maryville College is Dr. Sam Overstreet. He came to Maryville College and joined the English faculty in 1990. His goals for the Chaucer course are similar to those of Dr. Jackson and Dr. Hunter, but he has found a creative way to blend 14th century literature and 21st century technology. Let's go down the hall and find Dr. Overstreet for a demonstration. Well, like my predecessors, Drs. Hunter and Jackson, one of the things that I want to do in a Chaucer course is help my students learn to read Middle English with good pronunciation and with good understanding. And rather than spend out-of-class sessions uh, for which uh, I, I could devote an unlimited amount of time, I did a computer project with some grant money to make digital recordings of the Canterbury Tales and the Book of the Duchess with computer programming to enable the students to select any passage that they want and play it back any number of times that they want. So here's a, a short little sample from the beginning of the Wife of Bath's prologue. The prologue of the Weaver's Tale of Bath. Experience of non autorite where in this world is richty new for me to speak of war that is in mariage. This was originally on an online project that students would go on the internet to access and since then with the help of a student who was doing his senior thesis project on it we've turned it into a DVD version which we hope to get published after we get some legal copyright questions ironed out. So I'm, it's, my students tell me that it's, it's a useful tool for helping them master the pronunciation and some of them find it helpful enough with their understanding of Chaucer that they devote more time to that than to looking up the meanings of the words in the glossary and the footnotes, whatever works. <laughs> 